<laughs> yeah. Let me think the strangest interactions. Well, there was the lassie who walks straight over to us and says, give us a shot of your para, which I think has to rate. Apart from that, I think the, I think the is he real does it for me. Uh, maybe, the, maybe the witty is somebody said as I was walking down uh, Camden Street, somebody passing by says, mister, there's something wrong with your dog. <laughs> Hi, Walter, how are you? Okay, how are you? I'm my usual, please, thank you very much. It's over a year now since he's been coming out and about since he was big enough and I found out where to get a harness. So yeah, we have a, a couple of cafes that love to see him coming, a couple of pubs that love to see him coming. And that's something that I really didn't appreciate how much they enjoy getting out and about. Uh, day after day, I feel it's so obvious the stimulation of bringing him out. Do you want to say hello to Patricia? Up you go. Good boy. He's nervous of hands now, yeah. No I always had in mind, or at least for the last several years, a bird, a parrot, a cockatoo, something along those lines, because I thought they'd be suitably mischievous. Not as bad as a monkey, but more exciting than a dog. Uh, and then I suppose, like a lot of people with all the time during COVID spent at home, it seemed like, OK, if you're going to get an animal and have a chance of training it when it's young, this is a good time to do it. He can be really, really funny. And I never expected how affectionate birds are. Uh, obviously not all birds, but I mean, this guy will come over for a cuddle or, or, or at the end of the evening, he'll fluff up when you walk into the room to say hello to him. He's, he's just, he's great fun. 